co-host. You are. Good morning, everyone. This is the Friday, November 20, November 15, <laughs> jumping ahead, um, meeting of the elementary school building committee and seeing that we have a quorum, I'm going to call the meeting to order starting and then start with making sure the committee members that I can see have joined us can hear and be heard. And I'll just call out your names. Paul? Present. Jonathan? Good morning. Melissa? Good morning. Deb? Good morning. Uh, Dr. Z? Elisha? Here. Okay, so um, I don't see, uh, as other people join us, um, I will just call out their names. And I did double check participants and there's no one in our audience. I mean, no, none of the panel yeah. members. Are we, have a mem we have one member of the audience, yes. Yeah, but we have one member in the audience, but we have no uh, committee mm -hmm. members in the audience. So um, Margaret's not able to join us today, but we have a pretty brief agenda. So Ksenia, I'll just say the two agenda items. Um, one is an update on where we are with the bidding and the other is invoices. And then as always, we'll have public comments. And I double checked and I just wanna make sure that everyone has December 20th uh, as the next committee meeting the last committee meeting of this year. And I sent out a note to people, but Rick and Tim, you might not have seen it. Um, there's been a request to start the meetings at nine in the morning. So I, I haven't got a full survey of all the members yet, but um, that's so we, uh, one member of the committee can't join if we keep to the 8.30 meeting. So, if it's going to be okay with everyone, we're going to switch that to nine, the start time. And the meetings are likely to be fairly short, so the meeting times won't go longer. Yes, Alicia? Is it possible to pull the full committee for just a new meeting time? Yes, I, I did put it out in uh, a note yesterday, and I only had, I had a few people say it was fine, Alicia. Um, so well, I mean, like for a completely new meeting time, because nine on Fridays isn't going to work for me in like for the long run. Um, and so I'm hoping we might be able to just find a new time altogether. Well, why don't you send me times that would work for you next year, starting in January, and then I okay. can do that. I can't just poll because we've got a lot of people who have, um, as of you do, um, job jobs that start so you know tammy yes tammy yes tammy just is texting and simone is here if you want and to check. simone simone just to double check so i will do that alicia so right now let's assume that uh the december meeting i'll let people know if we're starting at nine and it won't be they're not going to lo go longer than the 1030 slot we've had. We've had the 830 to 1030 slot. So we will be ending by 10 or 1030. So it's not taking up a bigger part of Friday morning. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to add that it will work for me till December, but I started school. And so in January, I will have a 9am class on Fridays. Um, but for December, it's fine. I can do nine. Okay, so just, just send me some different dates because a lot of people have pegged Friday mornings on their calendars. So we'll just have to figure out um, whether other times could work. And I will poll. So I think- um, do, you, do you want to see if Simone is, can hear? Uh, Simone, sure. Simone, are you here? And, can you hear us? I can hear. Good morning. Right. If any, and people should feel free to put their hands up. So I think we're turning to an update on where we are with the bidding process and some combination of Bob, Paul, Ksenia, Rick, Hi, Tim. Uh, and Tammy's here. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. Can you just let us know if you unmute that you can hear us? We can see you.
You can put your thumbs up if you can hear us. Any case, we'll wait for her to get her earphones in. All good? All Great. good. All right, so that as I just, I'll repeat, the two big items we have this morning, or the only two items we have, are an update on where we are with the bidding process and invoices. We do have invoices, and we will get public comment. So bidding process, I... So I'll, I'll launch, and then Bob will fill in everything else, and Ksenia can. So we have received, as you know, we received three bids. Um, then there were bid challenges, uh, multiple bid challenges to the different bids. Uh, there was, these challenges go to the attorney general's office. The attorney general had about a four and a half hour um, meeting, hearing uh, on this, and it's in their court now is determining what, if they, what, the, what kind of opinion they're going to render to the town. Bob? Just adding to that, uh, after the hearing, there was an opportunity for parties to provide effectively the closing statement of which all parties did. Uh, since that date, the AG has reached out to a couple of parties to request additional information, um, with the most recent interaction being the middle of next week in which they reached out to the town to request some additional um, information regarding references for one of the contractors. Uh, we provided that information, and it it rests with the AG's office right now. Yeah, I see, I see Bruce has joined us. Bruce, can you hear us so we we can hear you? Yes, I can. I, um, I apologize. And so um, the one question I have, Bob, are those, I know they, they had asked for two, to get it down to two pages, and they went as far to say what the font size should be so that... <laughs> It wasn't two pages, and I asked, did they want margins also on it? But they got two pages from all the parties. Are all of those responses public documents? Or are I, any of them? Let us put it that way. I think we want to ask the Attorney General about that. Okay. You know, so just, you know, as an understanding the words. So, so we're, does that summary mean we're expecting to hear something next week? We thought this week. We thought this week, yeah. We were hoping, we, we, we've tried to extend, to convey to them how important the timing is of this and to expedite the timing. Um, so, and I think they're aware of that. Okay, the other question I have, and I'll, well, I'm looking to see if anyone else has it. When the three general contractors bid and the subcontracts, how long are those good bids good for? Usually it's about... 30 days, do we have extensions on them that they're still good for those bids? The bid documents required 30 day bid valid period, excluding holidays and weekends. That took us out until the beginning of November. All the GCs have agreed to 30 days in addition to that deadline. And many of the filed subverters have agreed to that as well. Okay, so that is, and then I guess my other question is of the the team that's overseeing, hoping to oversee construction. This moves, we this means we've lost a couple two months. Is that uh, about two months? In that we the bids came in end of September, and we thought we'd be good to go beginning of October, and we're clearly not. What does that do to the whole schedule for the school? Best guess, you know. We don't know yet. We And the reason I say that is because um, as the bidders have agreed, many of them have agreed to extensions, that means holding the required end date that's in the specification, right? It, it means they'd be doing that work in a compressed timeline, certainly, Right, we all know how time and math works, um, but for the moment we don't know anything beyond that, and it's premature to um, speculate. Ricky, I thought you were about. Is that you're you're muted? Nothing to add. That's because I have nothing more to add unless, <laughs> unless well, you. Is that Cassandra said what I would say? We don't know yet. It's premature to guess. 
So I, I just dominated asking questions. Does anyone else have any questions of the update we have? I don't see any hands. Um, then I think uh, we're turning to invoices. And Ksenia, I will allow participants if I am... Uh, Connor will present. Is Connor here? Yep. I just have oh, to send a request to share. It wouldn't let me. Granted. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. So starting off with the, the accept, executive summary as usual, we have our roadmap ahead. Um, our green, as always, is our previously invoiced. Our black in the middle, which is almost non-visible, is this current invoice package. Uh, our yellow here is what's currently uh, under contract. And then our white brick road is our road ahead. Again, that includes the main package, GC, um, FF and E procurement and contingency. Our current invoice package, and we'll get to the transmittal for that in a second, is about $26,000. And we've invoiced about 9% of the total project budget. Our cost for soft cost summary this has remained unchanged. It's mostly hard costs. And then, as Ksenia mentioned, we don't have a expected timeline for the resolution of um, the bid protest yet and that effect on the um, project schedule. So we don't have an updated cash flow for you guys this month. Moving on to the invoice package transmittal. I can zoom back in if that's a little bit too small, but we only have two invoices this month, one from Answer Advisory uh, for $17,622.50. This is 1% of Answer's total contract, and that brings us to 31% complete um, billing towards the Answer contract with 69% remaining. Uh, there's no invoice from Mount Vernon Group this month, but we do have an invoice from Gagliarducci. You mean Denisco? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, Denisco. I'm sorry. Different project. My apologies. <laughs> we do have an um, invoice from Gagliarducci. Um, and the reason we have one this month is because they've had to continue to maintain the site until they are um, ready to pass it on to the next GC. So this one's for $8,374.10. And this is 0%, you know, not quite 1% uh, rounding up of their contract. And this brings up to 98% overall. And um, they have 2% remaining. So moving on to the invoices. First up, the answer invoice. And as always, you can just call out and ask to stop or ask any questions. So the Gagliarducci wreck. And that's it. Okay. And as always, we have reviewed and confirmed that these invoices are appropriate and recommend them for approval. So Paul, I see a hand is up. Paul's hand. So the Gagler Ducci, is this an ongoing, is this is going to be a monthly item or is this a one-time thing during this period? It's, it's it, a one it, it's This a, was actually completed contract work. They finished the last of their uh, 
uh, erosion controls. So this isn't this wasn't additional. Uh, they have weekly. We have in the last approved change order a weekly charge for them to maintain the erosion control inspection that Comcom uh, required, and I think they've got a couple more visits of that. Okay, thank you. There is a requirement to have um, a level of maintenance around erosion controls. Um, and that's going to continue to need to be required until the new general contractor is ready to take over. And we have it covered for a period of time. And then we'll see it's not a tremendous cost. Putting that in perspective, you see that as the last line on this pay rec, the additional SWIP inspections, the $1,045 charge is a monthly cost that we have agreed to for them to continue to monitor the um, monitor and inspect because there's a requirement to report to the Conservation Commission as well as provide inspections uh, to comply with EPA requirements. Holly, I see your hands up. Yeah, I just wanted to make the motion, if you're ready for that, Kathy. Um, sure. Uh, you know, uh, I move to approve the invoices as presented. Do I have a second? second. Sure, I'll second. Lots of seconds. I'll, I'll pick one of them. <laughs> okay. Um, then I am going to put it to a vote. And you can take down, you can close the screen sharing at this point so I can make sure I'm seeing the full screen. Um, I'm going to just call out names as I see them on my screen. Paul? Yes. Jonathan? Yes. Melissa? Yes. Deb? Yes. Tammy? Yes. Bruce? Yes. Dr. Z? Welcome, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I, I, I'll call out the other two names, but I want to formally welcome you, Alicia. Yes. Simone. Yes. And and as people can see, we have been joined by the Amherst Schools and Regional School Superintendent. And uh, we're delighted that you could join us today. You know, these meetings will continue to be fairly short, you know, and hopefully the next one will start to be construction is starting. Um, and I will be happy to get to you any material you would like to see about including pictures on what the school's going to look like, what's inside it. Um, and the the one other thing that I think people know is in the works, and it hasn't come before the committee, is the town has engaged a consultant and made, the consultant then has made some recommendations on what to do about the intersections off the outside the campus traffic, which we didn't do as part of the project. So that's before the town council and is under discussion. And hopefully that will also be part of the school's discussion. Um, and it's not on the agenda for today, but I will make sure it is on a future agenda. Deb? Um, can you include Sarah Marshall on that if you uh, do for, for the meeting that has that as an agenda item? We can, and you know, it won't be a building committee. We, it, this is now in the town's ballpark. So it's, but more just to make sure people have the information on where it is. But yes, um, I've been, to the extent I can, I just kept forwarding everything I get over to the schools as has the chair of the town services committee. I mean, there's an attempt to involve people. Thank so you. that is just a brief, There, there's no movement on that yet. Are there any other questions or comments before I open it up to the general public and the public? And the I announced at the very beginning, our next meeting and the last meeting of the year is December 20th. And um, hearing no objections, that will start at nine in the morning, but, but I'll provide an update on that. And I believe that answer and Danisco and town staff will have a schedule for all of 2025 to the extent we can do all of 2025, at least how often we'll be meeting. And Alicia's just said, asked 
made a request that we poll for potential different meeting times. So, but we don't have anything yet. So we, we have a draft that we'll be sharing um, next week, but if there's any revisions that need to be made to that um, and tweaked, we're, we'll listen for that. Well, and it's it sounds like we might have to search for another meeting time if we, if one works. There are 13 of us, so it's got to work for everyone. So I don't see any other hands up, so I am going to open it. Um, Dr. Z, your hand is up. I would like to suggest that we're looking at comment times, maybe sending out like a, a doodle or moodle poll. And that would be able to like capture common times that work. And then we could come back and, and shift it. But we'll do, you know, I'm not even sure yet what, what we'll offer because the one request for that has to do with a class schedule. So I need to figure out what is possible and then look at some other things that are going on. But absolutely, we won't just say, here's a date. We'll do a, here are some dates. Um, absolutely. And I don't have the skills to do that, but someone on town staff does. <laughs> so with, with that, um, I think the next item is really just to throw it open for public comments. And right now we have one person in the public. Um, so I will see whether there are any comments. Maria Kopecki is in our is in the audience. And I don't see there's no request to speak. So I think um, and I, I want to thank everyone for joining. I did promise it would be a short meeting. I, I wish it would be a longer meeting so we could be talking about the start of all of this. And I'm sure everyone else does. But I want to thank you all and Wish you the best for the holidays, the Thanksgiving holidays, and and hopefully we'll get some good news about we're starting the major part of the construction soon. So with that, I'll take a vote to adjourn. Uh, Paul? Uh, Melissa? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tammy? Yes. Bruce? Yep. Dr. Z? Yes. Deb? Yes. Jonathan? Yes. Did I skip Bruce? Bruce, did I get you? Bruce? Yep, you got me. Alicia? Yes. And Simone? Yes. It is unanimous. Thank you, everyone. We are adjourned.